Well, hello boys and girls, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. So, if you're trying to reinstall your macOS, you're trying to reinstall your operating system, and you're encountering this error message. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi, and I'm going to click Next, and Continue, and then there's an error message, error while preparing the installation try running the application again okay all right so this error is occurring usually occurs because the date in terminal is wrong so what you would have to do is to change the date check the date by just typing in date if you want to check if the date is correct and press enter you're going to find out that the date is actually it's saying february 6 2001 so this is the reason why it will not connect to the Wi-Fi because the server recognizes that um, it cannot connect with the server because of the wrong date so what you need to do is to fix the date so uh, we'll be right back I can't type and record at the same time so I'll be right back and show you what you need to do okay just give me two seconds I'll be right back so I'm going to uh, correct the, the data. I don't have a stand to put the camera so just on. like that. Uh, we are back. So what you ne actually need to do uh, is you're going to type in date. And so today is uh, September 9th, 2020. So you're going to type in 0909 and then the time. So right now it's nine o'clock. So you're going to type in the current time and the last two numbers are the year. So it's September 9, September 9th at 9 o'clock, 2020. So for 2020, you're just going to type in 20. So you're going to type in date 09092100020. So that's the format. So it's, this is how you need to fix that issue. And then just press enter. So now if we get out of this, so after you press enter it's going to say uh, the, cur the current date so we're going to quit terminal so quit terminal so that's all right so we were here right so you're going to go to uh, utilities and then terminal and then in terminal you type in the date and then that's all you gotta do and then after that quit terminal right you quit terminal and then click next so you should be connected to Wi-Fi when you're doing this. And then now, if you click next again, you're not going to get that error message. To download, your computer's eligibility will be verified. It's probably not gonna download for me, but if you have had your Semite before, it will download for you. You're not going to get an error message. So it's probably going to ask for my Apple ID because I have not had. But at least the error message is not appearing anymore. So the er error message is gone. But I really don't want to say I want to install another operating system. But this is what you need to do if you're getting that error message that we we saw. So agree. I don't know if it's going to download, will it? Um, okay, let's just for shits and giggles. I don't think it's going to download for me. But and I don't need your cement. I don't want to install at least. Yeah, you know, he's saying I need to sign in. But we got rid of the of the error message. That's what the video was all about. We got rid of the error message that we're seeing. So well, I hope this has been beneficial to you. If it has been beneficial, so if you have an Apple ID and stuff like that, and um, you want to download whatever the current the last operating system was, you'd have to enter your Apple ID and your password. There. But I'm not gonna do that because I want to format this drive and. Um, probably upgrade the drive and install a better operating system in your operating system so it cancel well if you have found this to be beneficial please like share and subscribe Ta -ta.